All right, so we got our throttle on here. We're waiting on our carburetor to get here and then we can hook it all up. All right, so we got our carburetor in the mail today. It's a PZ22, a good bit bigger than the stock one. Plus, it's gonna be easier to hook the throttle up. Not sure exactly how hard it's gonna to be to bolt up or if we're gonna to need to make some custom parts, but let's get started. Alright, we're ready for our first test fire, so hopefully it starts. Here we go. We got the choke on. It's getting fuel. Let's see what we'll do. We got the chain off. We adjusted the uh, carburetor a little bit. Seems to be running pretty good. Go ahead and give it some throttle.
can't wait to take it for a rip. I found out that the sprocket got loose and was sliding back and forth. And the keyway, or the, not the keyway, the key popped out, came loose. So we put the Allen keys back in really tight. And then we also made a divot in the axle for them to sit in. And then next we're going to add this bolt. We're going to put that on top. Tighten it down real tight. And that's going to keep... Um, Hopefully keep everything from backing out. So we'll give that a shot and see what happens. I also made one more fuel tank mount just to sturdy it up and so it won't go anywhere. First little test run, we didn't lay into it too terrible hard just because I didn't know if the chain or anything would fly off. And uh, anyways, the front brakes are toast. They lasted about five minutes, and the pads pads were done. And then at the end, I did a burnout, and uh, chain flew off. So we're going to be building a chain tensioner for it. Probably be putting disc brakes on the rear. But uh, thank y'all for watching. In the next video, we're going to be doing some top speed runs, burnout, just let it rip, and uh, it's going to be a lot better than what you just saw, so stay tuned and dump the clutch.